Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. There have been some very strong comments that have been made from Hillary Clinton back uh, in September. I'll just play uh, brief videos here real quick. Okay, now I'm going to get out of here real quick. Um, wow, you know, um, deplorable and irredeemable. Ir 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 mm. But my Bible tells me that I am redeemed. And by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am redeemed. I'm not irredeemable. Nobody is irredeemable. Only those who willfully choose, choose to disbelieve in Jesus Christ. Willfully, wholeheartedly, and constantly cling to their evil ways. 
there's going to be a time that they are, will be irredeemable. In the meantime, they're still redeemable. In uh, Ephesians 1, it states, Ephesians 1, In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. And then goes on here, uh, In Him also we have attained, obtained an inheritance. In Him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Now notice it's first the word of truth, the go then the gospel of your salvation. So the gospel of salvation and the word of truth is two separate things. Otherwise it would say the word of truth and the gospel of salvation. It doesn't say that. It says word of truth, comma, the gospel of your salvation. Which are two different things. Now some people had commented to me about, well, we, you know, I, my inheritance is in Him, and not in anything earthly. Well, that isn't what Psalms says. Psalms, everybody knows what Psalm. everybody, you know, how you going to say everybody. But a lot of people, they know that, you know, Psalms is a good book. It ha has a lot of information, good information in, in Psalms. So let's see what Psalm says about inheritance. Psalms 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to, to his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. The, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. That is what an inheritance is for. An inheritance is for the grandchildren. Not, not basically the children, but the grandchildren. That's what an inheritance is for. Now, I want to clear the air also about something real quick. There are some people who have made some comments in the past. That, well, we get free health care because, you know, I'm on Medicare and Medicaid. Let me tell you something about Medicaid. They're constantly, constantly, constantly cutting back. For instance, we had to now pay for our insulin, I'm not insulin, excuse me, our allergy needles. They come in a pack of 10 or a box of a... Um, a hundred or basically ten packs for about three dollars a pack we had to pay out of our own pocket now for because they consider a high Medicaid no longer is paying for this without prior authorization and our ear nose and throat doctor does not want to do a prior authorization so therefore, I got if I want to do allergy shots at home, I got to pay three dollars for a pack of ten. And we, I take four shots a week, so pack of ten isn't even going to cover a whole month. And then Renee takes three right now, and then she'll be going down to two when she gets the three done. She takes three shots a week. I take four shots a week. That does not last very long. And then, and then our special vitamin that we were taking for um, our uh, neuropathy. I started out with it. I started out with um, 
taking uh, this right here called uh, Mentex or how you pronounce that. I started out taking that. Then for, for two years around there, I was taking that. And then all of a sudden, they stopped paying for it. So I found uh, another one called, uh, um, no, actually also, they were giving me a generic version of it called F-O-L-T-A-N-X. Then I, they stopped paying for that. And then I had to uh, find something else similar, and I found uh, full beak. First, my foot doctor put me on to straight folic acid. That did not help. I was having the burning sensation in my feet. So finally, a pharmacist that was here in Carrollton told me about full beak. I was on phobic for another two years. And then they stopped paying for that. And then we were only on this other uh, special uh, vitamin pill um, called uh, VIR. Hang on a second, let me get here. VIR. T dash V I T E and uh, another word F O R T E tablet. We were on that for three months, just three months, and then a high Medicaid up and stopped paying for that as well. And when you go to a high Medicaid and you put any of these medications in, nothing comes up on their website anymore where they are even covering. I checked to see how much this medication would cost out of pocket for 60 pills because we're supposed to take it one in the morning, one in the evening. For the full beak, it's $34 out of pocket. Wow, you know, a lot of people think I got a lot of money because me and Renee get Social Security SSI. But we only get $16 in food stamps and we have to buy the rest of uh, the uh, our food out of our social security. Not just food, but other things too. Toilet paper, paper towels, um, the styrofoam plates so we don't dirty uh, plates all the time. And be running up the water bill a lot. Um, you know, cat food, cat litter, it all adds up. You know, the bills. I pay the bills first, then I live what's on what's left over. That's anywhere from three to $400. Three to $400 to live on for a whole month. You know, it'd be nice don't have no bills, and we would have thousand, uh, around almost $15,000, but we don't have $15,000. Over a thousand dollars goes for bills. Bills come first. If you don't pay your bills, you don't have anything. And there's people out there running their mouth saying that my credit's bad. I can't get uh, good. I can't get credit. You don't know nothing. All you do is, do is run your mouth. Just like Hillary Clinton run her mouth. First Corinthians 5, Paul wrote that we are not to have anything to do with the people that she is hobnobbing with. And the people that she says that we're supposed to embrace and accept. It's something how hard people forget. That her husband, Bill Clinton, was impeached, even though he and he refused to step down. Goes to show what kind of man he really was as president. 
And he's also the one that, that created all this uh, job loss with NAFTA. But I don't know. It's something how people forget. They'd rather forget all the bad. Well, no. They'd rather forget their mistakes and uphold the Christians and the believers' mistakes. Isn't that what Satan the devil does? Are they not doing the will of their father, Satan the devil? Hmm. I'm preaching the truth. And that is what a prophet is supposed to be doing. Preaching and telling people the truth and warning them of what is to come. Not what a lot of people think a prophet is. Some people think a prophet's only supposed to bring the good news. Excuse me, did Jonah try to bring good news to Nineveh? Nineveh? Hmm. Nineveh? Hmm? No, he was to warn them, warn them that God was going to judge them if they didn't turn from their evil and wicked ways. That's what a prophet is supposed to be doing. But see, even just like in the days of um, Joshua, they were uh, killing and imprisoning the prophets because they didn't want to listen. Just like people don't want to listen today. They think they're better than God himself. They know more, they know more than God himself. It's because they're brainwashed. And they're believing the lie. God bless you. Have a blessed day.